Hello my little willies! In this tutorial we're going to learn how to knead a poncho with hoodie for children 18 months to 3 years of age size. For this project you will need 205 grams of yarn, number 4 aran or worsted weight, and circular needles 5.5 mm or US 9 with a cable 16 inches or 40 centimeters long and one stitch marker, tapestry needle, scissors and a rule for measuring. Remember, as usual, you will find the written pattern on my website sewwoolly.net. There is a link for you below this video on the description box. I strongly recommend you to read the whole pattern first so you will understand much better. Ok, let's get started. As usual, please knit a swatch before you start. The gauge required for this pattern is 16 stitches and 22 rows equals 4 inches or 10 centimeters in stockinette stitch. Firstly, we need to cast on 136 stitches. Leave a long tail so you don't run out of yarn when casting on the stitches around 270 centimeters or 105 inches. Okay, I have 136 stitches. I just made a loop to secure the rest of the yarn from the tail. And now we have to arrange these stitches. So the needle where the yarn coming from the ball is, is on the right side. And we are going to put the needles on the table and check that nothing is twisted. So we are facing the nice uh, caston edge. Not this one that looks like pearl stitches, but this one, the nice one. And let me put that away. So here, everything is okay. Hmm? Now, place the marker. This will show us where a new round begins and when the old one finishes. And we're just going to join in the round, knitting two stitches. So knit two, that's the repeat. Turn forward, purl two. Knit two. Purl two. Net two. Purl two. And repeat to the end of the round. I will see you there. I'm about to finish the first round, ending with net two. Purl two. Now I just slip the marker and start my second round and it's always the same. That's the nice part. Knit two, purl two. Remember as you need, you need to pull the stitches. So you always have the stitches close to the tip on the left hand needle. So knit two, for two. This is the two by two rib stitch in the round. Just one round and always the same. Knit two, for two. So keep knitting. Now I'm finishing the seventh 
round, as usual, ending with purl two, and work. my work measures three point five centimeters or one and three eighths inches. So now we will change to stocking at stitch. That means that you have to niche every stitch of every round. So keep knitting until the work measures 5 inches or 12.8 centimeters, almost 13 centimeters. It's great to knit the stockinette stitch in the round because we don't have to purl. So I know that many people don't like to purl. You just knit every round and enjoy yourself. Okay, I've been knitting, this is uh, round 21 and stocking at a stitch. I'm finishing this last round. And now we're going to make some V creases. First round of V creases, we knit two. And now comes the repeat, what you will find between asterisks on the written instructions. Knit 9, knit 2 together. That's one decrease. So we have to repeat net nine. Eight. Nine. Net two together. Repeat this until there are just two stitches left. And I'll see you there. We have decreased 12 stitches. The repeat has been made 12 times. We have 124 stitches and we will end the row with net two, sorry, the round. So we have finished this first round of decreasing and now rounds two to eight have no decreases, they will be resting rows and you just have to knit. And I will see you on round 9 for more decreases. Very well, I am about to finish round 8 and now we will be decreasing on round 9. And this is just to show you that every decrease row is different. We start knitting two stitches and now comes the repeat. Knit eight, knit two together. Let's do it again. Knit eight, Knit two together and repeat until there are only two stitches left. And as we did before, we have to knit these last two stitches. So that, that was uh, round nine. Then we have to knit, just knit, in rounds 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14, and 15. And then Round 16 is another one for decreases. Then from rounds 17 to 21, we just have to knit without decreasing. And then we have to decrease again on round 22. And from 23 to 27, we just knit. And then we start on round 
28, decreasing again. Then 29, 30, 31, 32, and 33 is just neat every stitch. On round 34, we decrease again, and then again on round 40. And there we will have 52 stitches, and we have to knit rounds 41, 42, and 43 without decreasing. Please follow these instructions, because if I do all this knitting, the video will take two hours long. And if you want to read the whole pattern, what I recommend, you have to go to my website. Remember, there is a link below this video on the description box. I'll see you for the neckline. Okay, I finished round 43. Now we're going to start knitting flat. Um, we are going to do the neckline. Knit one, knit two together, and turn your work. And this is a purl row, so we are going to purl every stitch. We won't don't need this anymore, the marker. So purl to the end of the row. It's easier to rearrange the stitches because this cable is short. So here where we start purling, you can pull the stitches and let a little bit of cable there without stitches. Try to always keep this loop empty of stitches. So, when we get to the last two, we purl these two together. So, the work is divided in two and we are knitting flat. So, third row, from now on we're going to decrease starting and ending every row. So, when we are facing the right side of the work, we are going to knit two together, but through the back loop. Knit every stitch. Okay, when there are only two stitches left, knit two together. Now we will be doing the fourth row. It's a wrong side row and it will be just purling across. But we have to purl the first two together then purl every stitch and when there are only two stitches left purl both together. That was row four. From now on every even row, so row six, eight, ten and twelve will be the same. And here we are going to knit row 5, which is the same as row 3. We start with knit two together through the back loop. Yeah, like this. Then knit across the row.
And when there are two stitches left, knit them together. So repeat these last two rows, row four and row five, until you get to row 12. I'll see you at the end of row 12. Okay, I finished row 12 and now we have to pick up and pull nine stitches from the neckline. So help yourself with the left hand needle and place it under the V. It is better if your needles have a sharp point or tip. To be complicated. Yeah. Four. So we have pick up one. Here, second one. And pearl. Two. and nine. Turn the work and knit to the end of the row. And now we need to pick up and knit nine as well. So under the V, knit under the V. That's one, two, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and nine. Next row, because we're facing the wrong side of the work, we have to purl every stitch. Turn the work and we will start um, increasing stitches for the hoodie. So knit 24. And now we have to increase two stitches. The first one is called make one left. We will take the bar between two stitches 
from back to front. Place it under your left hand needle and now knit into the back of it. This is a left leaning increase. Now we knit one and now we make one right. We take the bar from front to back and knit into the front. From front to back and knit into the front. And knit, we have increased two stitches. Knit to the end of the row. Next row is just a poor row, so we have to pour every stitch. And I will see you, this is the second row of the hoodie, and I will see you for the third one. Now we are knitting row three, and this time we have to knit 26 and repeat the two increases we made. So take the band, put it on the left hand needle from back to front and now knit it through the back loop, knit one and make the other increase. Take the band, put it on the left hand needle but from front to back and knit. And knit to the end of the row and then we'll come row 4 which is a purl row and I'll see you for row 5. On row 5 we will start doing a little edge in 2x2 two two rib stitch. So we start with purl 2, knit 2, purl 2. These are 6 stitches. We are going to knit 21 more, just knit. And now here we will be repeating the increases. Take the band, put it from back to front and knit through the back loop. Knit one and take the band, put it from front to back and knit. Now we have to knit until there are only six stitches left and we will we will end the row with four two knit two four two exactly as we started okay no more increases will be made and from now on, we have to knit what we see. When we are facing the wrong side, we knit two, purl two, knit two, and purl to the other side. And when there are six stitches left, we have to knit two, purl two, knit two. And the following row, when we are facing the right side, is the opposite. We always will start with purl two, knit two, purl two, and finish with purl two, knit two, purl two. So keep knitting until the piece measures nine inches or 23 centimeters from the row where we picked and knitted or purled the nine stitches. And I'll see you to bind off.
Okay, now that it measures from here 9 inches or 23 centimeters, we are going to, it's called bind off in pattern. That means that when we see the bumps, the purl stitches, we have to purl one, curl two, and pass the stitch over. Now we see the V, that's a knit stitch, we have to knit and pass the stitch over. Another knit stitch and pass. Now comes the last two purl stitches, purl and pass, purl and pass. And now it's knit and pass over until there are only six stitches left. So I am getting here to the last six stitches and we have to pull, bind off, pull, bind off, and now knit, bind off, knit, bind off, Cover, bind off, and pearl. Now we need to leave enough yarn, like twice the width of the hoodie for our seam. Pull the yarn through this last loop, thread your darning needle and we're going to join both sides facing the right side of the work. So first we join the most exterior Part. You can do it twice to secure. And from now on, we're going to place the darning needle below the bind off row. So here we have little B on this side and the first one on the other side, and so on. Until you finish.
when you get to the last one pull it to the other side and now we can just weave in the ends And that's it. There you have it. You can block it if you want. Just the hoodie or first the hoodie and then the rest. And thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Happy knitting!